It's great you're interested in doing some important work for Victoria with the Department of Justice and Community Safety. For the department's frontline roles, you need to be a certain standard of physical well-being to carry out the duties of the job confidently and safely. That's why passing a health and fitness assessment is an essential step in securing one of these roles. If your application proceeds through to this stage, we'll invite you to attend a medical centre. Here, you'll meet with the team who will run through a series of tests, like checking your hearing and lung function, as well as detecting any drug and alcohol use through the breath and urine tests. You'll also get a lifestyle and medical history form to fill out. Your body mass index will be measured and you'll need to score between 18.5 and 35. Check out our BMI calculators online to figure out where you're at. If your BMI is above 35, you may still be eligible. But your waist measurement must be below 102 centimetres as a man or 85 centimetres as a woman. A key part of the day is the musculoskeletal and fitness assessment. We're going to walk you through that now so you can know what to expect before applying. If you're not confident you can get the results you need to pass some of these tasks, training and lifestyle changes may help you get up to scratch. The assessment itself should take around 20 minutes to half an hour and will be conducted in an exercise physiologist workroom. To pass the test, you'll have to get at least an average score on most of the tasks. And we'll show you what that looks like in this video. If you're not strong in some tasks, but can make up for it in others, you may still make it through. But the surest bet is to train up and get as close to the maximum score as possible. You'll be assessed over five forms of physical health with a variety of exercises. First up, core strength. You'll be asked to hold an abdominal hover or core plank for as long as you can, up to 90 seconds. To give yourself the best chance of passing, you should aim to hold this for at least 70 seconds. Back extensions follow. The physiologist will be looking for 16 of these to be done consecutively, but do your best to get into the 20s. The final exercise in this section is the trunk curl. You'll be asked to do a series of sit-ups varying in difficulty. The more of these trunk curls you can do, the more points you will receive. It's ideal to be able to do them all. When doing workouts to prepare for these tasks, remember to keep your abdomen tight and contracted. Next up are some lifting exercises. First, you'll have one minute to lift 15 kilos repeatedly. Try and get 15 lifts in that time. Then you'll be asked to lift and carry 20 kilos over five meters. You can have two attempts at this, but top points are rewarded for getting it straight away. Having the fitness to respond to or remove yourself from emergency situations is essential in most frontline roles. So leg strength matters. You'll be tested on this by kneeling with your hands behind your back for 20 seconds. There's an extra point for being able to stand up from this position too. Next, it's on to single leg squats. Try to do 15 of these consecutively. Good form is rewarded. A squat and bounce exercise follows and there's an extra point for being able to stand without using your hands. The step test will help assess your cardiovascular fitness. Over one minute, you'll repeatedly step on and off a platform which is of a comfortable height to you, and your heart rate will be measured. You may need to carry equipment as part of your role, making upper body strength another great attribute to have. You'll be tested on your grip strength. Female candidates should demonstrate 28 kilograms of grip strength or above, while males should get 43 kilos or above. The higher the number, the more points you get. Regular weight training can be a great help in improving your grip strength. Next, an overhead press. Women will lift six kilograms, while men will lift 10. More repetitions equals more points, with the top score being 25 reps. This segment ends with as many push-ups as you can manage also up to 25. Females may kneel. You're going to want to be comfortable doing at least 10 consecutively before taking the test. The final part of the physical assessment is a range of motion evaluation. You'll work through many quick flexibility testing exercises, including the following. Cervical flexion, cervical extension, cervical left and right rotation, trunk left and right rotation, lumbar flexion, lumbar extension, lumbar left and right lateral flexion, and straight single leg raises. You will be marked highest for exercises that do not appear stiff 
and painful for you. Frequent controlled muscle stretching is recommended to increase your range of motion. Stretching after workouts and before bed each night is key. There you have it. That sums up what you'll need to do at our health and fitness assessment. If you're unsure of your capabilities, speak to your GP and don't put yourself at risk. Then, if you can, have a go at all the exercises at home and see how you stack up. Once you're confident you can hit the benchmarks, we'd love to receive your application and we hope to see you around soon. Authorised by the Department of Justice and Community Safety.